violence terrifying scene played out on national television leading to a lot of discussion today about sports and injuries. Yeah, it's always a big concern, especially for parents, with one survey finding fewer parents are choosing contact sports for their children. As a father of six who used to play football, Craig Curtis isn't against his kids playing a contact sport. Well, I tried to introduce them to it, actually, and they, they didn't like it. And that was okay for Curtis. You know what their sports they play? Madden. They on the game, they play Madden. PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, that's all the contact they need. Were you happy about that? Yes. That's because he knows the risks suffering his own serious game-ending injury as a teen. And I played football and I got hurt. I got my leg broke. With his youngest now just four months, he has no plans of pushing her into any contact sports. No sports for her. Straight doll houses and Barbie dolls. <laughs> Turns out he's not alone. A Barrow Neurological Institute survey conducted before the pandemic found only 65% of parents surveyed said they would allow their kids to play contact sports, including football, soccer, and basketball. It was a sharp drop from the two years prior. The survey found injuries, specifically concussion fears, driving the decline. It's scary to see things like that happen, and I think it definitely makes you second guess you know, some of those decisions. Stacy Post is a mom to six year old Grady. He's happy tossing a football with his cousin. Mom hopes low to no contact sports are his choice down the road. I probably am more of an overprotective mom anyway, so I would definitely think twice about the contact sports. Sports decisions that came easy for parents like Craig Curtis, as he was reminded of how heart wrenching it is seeing an injury on the field like millions watch Monday night with Bill's safety, Damar Hamlin. You hold your breath. You look like in dismay, like, wow, is he going to get up? Is he all right? 